guys, we're here with WTF Car Reviews and Terry gonna be reviewing the all new 2023 Subaru Outback Onyx Edition. And huge thanks to Bird Smith Subaru in St. Petersburg, Florida for making this review possible. I'll leave links to our inventory below and if you're looking for a new car, SUV or wagon in the St. Petersburg, Tampa, Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And for those of you guys who don't know, the Outback has been Subaru's crossover station wagon since 1995. That's when the first generation was released. The sixth generation that you see here was released in 2020, sitting on Subaru's global platform, which is both stiffer and more friendly for hybrid and electric powertrains than before. The sixth generation Outback comes standard with all-wheel drive. For 2021, we added adaptive cornering LED headlamps on the higher trims. For 2022, the Outback Wilderness was added, which features 9.5 inches of total ground clearance, 2.4 liter turbo, which cranks out 260 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. We get beefier tires, more aggressive transmission tuning, too. For 2023, all trim levels above the Onyx XT get that 2.4 liter turbo. We also get a facelift for 2023 featuring a larger front grille, new headlamps, larger front bumper, and an upgraded camera with wider overall view. For 2023, we get nine different trim levels on the Outback, starting with the base at $28,395, moving all the way up to the Touring XT at $43,520. The base is still pretty loaded with features featuring standard EyeSight, driver assist technology, LED steering assisted headlights, 8.4 inches of ground clearance, roof rails with crossbars, LED fog lights, so pretty good value considering a sub $30,000 base price. The Touring XT, which starts at $43,000, comes loaded with features, a 2.4 liter turbo, Napa leather seats, which are heated and ventilated, power folding mirrors, and a 180 degree front view monitor. The Onyx X that you see here starts at $33,490, also loaded, loaded with features, featuring the SeatTex seats, which are water repellent, 18-inch black rims, smart access with push start, hands-free tailgate, and a dual function X mode, which also includes hill descent control. So under $34,000, loaded with features. What else do we get for the money? Let's jump right in. So it's a really rainy day today in St. Petersburg, Florida. Hopefully we can hurry this up before the rain gets too unbearable to finish this review off. But first thing we notice is the LED headlamps with the LED daytime running strip. The green metallic paint is also beautiful. Obviously you're not going to be able to pick it up in this rainy day, but you can take my word for it. This is probably one of my favorite colors for the new Subaru Outbacks. We get fog lights too. The lower bumper area is updated for the facelift. So is the grill. It's a larger opening. We get a gloss black and matte black contrast not the most opening but for this 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder we should still have more than enough no front facing camera on the onyx x trim level it's available on the higher trims no airflow in the corners but it's an aggressive front styling i definitely prefer this over the pre facelift we can take a quick look at the wheel and tire setup the onyx x gets these black 18 inch rims with the y spokes dimensions being 22560 r18 yokohama avid gt all season tires so not the best all season compound but with a four cylinder making less than 200 horsepower and all wheel drive should still be plenty for on and off road speaking of off road we get a little bit of plastic cladding above the wheel well it fits the outback very well it doesn't quite fit the new um, WRX quite as well in my opinion for the Outback very clean look we get more plastic cladding for the rocker panel side skirt area and it says Outback in the lower right corner the mirrors are black contrasted LED turn signal on them they're not power folding like they are for the higher trims but they're still folding mirrors no blind spot monitoring on the glass unfortunately but they are heated we get smart access for the driver and the front passenger blacked out B pillar no shiny chrome anywhere on this SUV all Outbacks get the roof rails with the crossbars the rear wheel and tire setup same thing the only difference is a smaller brake caliper more plastic cladding even for the rear bumper area full LED for the taillights halogen turn signal um, and it appears to be LED for the reverse light the badging is all blacked out blacked out Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive in the corner Outback in the right corner shout out Birdsmith Subaru in St. Petersburg Florida for making this review possible pretty dark tints for the rear hatch too. third brake light right up top of the blacked out spoiler very clean appearance we'll take a squat back here get a quick look at the exhaust tip in the lower left corner fully independent rear suspension but speaking of the exhaust tip let's fire up this 2.5 liter four cylinder and hear how she sounds
All right, guys, that was the sound of the two and a half liter boxer four cylinder sold by Subaru for the 2023 Outback Onyx Edition. It sounds pretty decent for what it is, cranking out 182 horsepower, 176 pound feet of torque. Uh, made it to this all wheel drive system and eight speed line driven CVT transmission. You can expect zero to 60 between eight and a half and nine seconds. So certainly not the quickest. If you want more performance, you can upgrade to the Onyx XT, which starts at around the five to $6,000 more than this, but features a 2.4 liter turbo boxer engine making about 80 more horsepower and over a hundred more pound feet of torque. So if you're performance driven, you can upgrade about 6,000 bucks, go with the turbo. But in the meantime, this is what we get. Hopefully we can drop this hood without breaking anything because I do have the umbrella currently up. But we'll take one more step back, get one last look at the updated front styling. That's about it for the exterior. Let's hop out into the interior, get out of this rain and do exactly that. So stepping inside up top, we get some soft touch materials with some Syntex X trim not quite sure exactly what it's called i think it's like soft x seat x whatever it's like a vinyl trim with a green contrast stitching with very soft touch materials up top gushy soft for the armrest solid storage auto one touch for all four four-way adjustable mirrors aluminum chrome door handle with a little bit of piano black surrounding it aluminum right above the materials down here is still soft touch the bottom portion of course hard plastic solid storage you might be able to squeeze a foot long in there with a 20 ounce water bottle to speaker Subaru nameplate as we step inside the seats are that same Syntex Softex vinyl material two contrast colors with the green contrast stitching very comfortable seats and they are water repellent so if you're off-roading they are very accommodating fully adjustable too. you have lumbar recline drop lift and slide we can take a step inside though get out of this rain all together and see what we get so we fire this thing right up engine start stop button to the right of the steering wheel reminds me a little bit of the Toyota start stop buttons but first thing we notice unfortunately the climate is only adjusted through the touchscreen we do get heated seats though which is nice the auto start stop is also adjusted through the touchscreen but the steering wheel very thick white contrast stitching great overall shape to a 10 and 2 bolstering notches are solid nine and three fits your hands perfectly it's not a flat bottom but wouldn't be expected i'm still a big fan of the wheel itself rubberized horn area the horn itself very aggressive sounding horn people should definitely be getting out of your way the buttons you can skip your songs adjust the volume down here infotainment controls answer and hang up your phone calls voice commands am fm and sirius on the right side radar cruise control you can adjust it with these buttons active steering and you can adjust the speed of the cruise too paddle shifters for this eight speed line driven cvt auto headlamps very satisfying click for the turn signals no rain sensing wipers it wouldn't be expected on a low trim outback we get more of that vinyl green contrast stitching material to the left of the steering wheel. Tailgate release beneath that interior brightness and this button turns off your automatic tailgate if you'd like to for one reason or another. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel, it's not power tilt and telescope, also wouldn't be expected. You can get a good look at your pedals. The gauges, as you see there, analog gauges, the TAC goes to about 6,000 RPM, 160 for the speedometer, coolant temp to the left, gas level on the right. The LCD display to 4.2 inches. It's controllable with these buttons. Right now we're looking at outside temp and a digital speedo. You can see your average speed, um, average fuel economy, distance, and auto start stop, tire pressure you have to be driving to see, song that's currently playing, and right back to where we started. That's about it for the controls though. We also can adjust between source, which changes between Bluetooth, FM, AM, and Sirius. The touchscreen, we get radio, media, phone, apps, settings, my Subaru car info, you can turn the display completely off, no navigation, but we still get the 11.6 inch touchscreen apps. We can check them out real quick. We get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, my Subaru, and Travelink. We can close out of here, settings, see everything that's available through the settings, clock display, Wi-Fi, reminder screen, valet, meter, camera, climate control, temperature units, so on and so forth. You can check out the camera, steering angle lines, you can turn on or off, rear camera, delay control, you can also turn on and off, not quite sure what that is, but we'll leave it off for the purpose of this review. My personal favorite to look at at all times would just be this home screen. Beneath that, you have your climate adjustments. Again, unfortunately, you have to go through the touchscreen to adjust the vent controls. The temperature controls are adjusted with hard buttons, so I guess that's appreciated since we do have automatic climate. Volume and tune buttons, hazards up top, a little bit of piano black surrounding it. Uh, air vents too, with some aluminum surrounding this entire infotainment area. More of that soft vinyl material, it's actually called Star X or Star Tex. I think I finally remember what it's called, but the stitching is not 
contrasted in color, not a big deal though. Engine start stop, as we mentioned. Cushy soft where your knee will often hit. A little bit of piano black surrounding the gear selector, which controls the eight speed line driven CVT, USB C, USB A, and an aux port. No wireless charging here, but that's a good spot for it. It's available on the higher trims. More star text behind the gear selector. Two cup holders are currently holding all my crap, my shades, which are just not necessary on a rainy day like today. Move my wallet, pen, and the key fob, which I guess you guys can take a quick look at. The key fob for this 2023. Outback, but the cup holders are large. You're fitting 20 ounce water bottles in here with no problem. You can throw your phone in there too. Anything you like to throw in there will fit with no issue. Super soft for the armrest, one of the softer armrests in the business. Very comfortable seats, super comfortable armrests. You see two tiers of storage, throw some business cards and pens in the first tier, open up the second tier, and it is also very large. You'll fit a six pack of 16 ounce cans with no issues. An additional 12 volt down below. We can shut this. Uh, center console right up. Take a quick look at the glove box, which has two tiers of the StarTex material. This side does not get contrast stitching, but down below it does. A little bit of additional storage. You throw some phones in there, some gloves, or just use it as an oh crap handle if the off-road driver is driving like a maniac. There's also a glove box down below, which is lined in felt and massive. You're fitting at least 25, maybe 30 license plates in there. Very impressive size for the glove box. The rear view mirror is huge, frameless, three garage home link settings on it, auto dimming of course too. Mirrors, not mirrors, what am I saying? Sunglass holders, interior light is LED. You can see we get a rollover warning on this wagon. I don't think this thing's gonna roll over, but we do get the warning. Nevertheless, we get the visor mirrors without LED lights, but the lights still light up, still do the job. The job. We don't get a moonroof or anything, but that's about it. For the front seat, we take a quick look at this window sticker, see any features that I may have missed. I know I hurried this review up a little bit quicker than usual because the rain is starting to pick up and I don't want to get caught in a monsoon. But you can see you can pause all the standard features on the Onyx Edition Subaru Outback. The base price sitting at $33,495. No options. The all-weather floor mats are $141. That's an interesting number for a price. But after a $1,225 destination charge, we're sitting at a total price a tick under $35. Thousand bucks. We put this window sticker away. That's about it for the front seat. If we didn't mention, actually, down below we have a little secret storage cubby which you can use as an ashtray if that's where you're into. We can shut this thing right up. Also, trip reset to the left. We'll step out to the back seat real quick. Oh, the rain is definitely picking up. I don't think you can pick it up on camera, but you can take my word for it. Up top, out back, same materials, very high quality. The materials over here also soft touch. Uh, Gushy soft for the armrest, auto one touch for the window. Good storage below. You'll fit a six inch sub with a 20 ounce water bottle right next to an additional speaker. No nameplate stepping inside. The rear seats, same star text materials. There we go. Finally remembered it, but the bolstering is solid. Two different contrasting colors with the green contrast stitching. Padding goes all the way out to the door frame and a latch to fold the seat down. The legroom looks really impressive. I'm a little bit over six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and like we said, very impressive. I have at least three, four inches of overall legroom. I'll try to wipe my lens down because I think there's a little bit of water on it, but nope, still gonna be blurry. Two tiers of map pockets back here behind both of the seats. Excellent storage, USB-C, USB-A, and air vents. Headroom, again, I'm a little bit over six feet tall. I have at least three, four inches of overall headspace. So if you're under six foot five, six foot six, maybe even taller, you'll have no problem sitting back here. The seats, unfortunately, they don't recline or slide, but still very comfortable for me overall. The center cubby, you gotta jab your hand into it to access it, but again, pretty soft. Two cup holders, you'll fit 16 ounce cups with no issues. Interior light, LED, nice. Uh, that's about it for the back seat. Let's hop out back to the cargo, see how much space is offered back there. And then take this 2023 Subaru Outback Onyx Edition out for a drive. So we got the power tailgates also hands-free if you want to use a slide function, but the key has to be in your pocket. First thing I noticed is the floor is super, super low. Again, six feet tall, my knees at the same level as a step-in. So if you got older, smaller pets, they'll have no issues hopping back here. Outback on the floor mat, a little bit of secret storage. We'll take a quick look, see how much space is available down there, if I can even access it, but there we go. You got your fix the flat kit with some secret stuff right behind it. But massive cargo for the floor area. You fold the seats down 60 40 split. I'd expect you to fit at least a 75 80 inch TV back here. Great cargo space for pets. Latches to fold the seats down in the cargo space too. Wheel well cutouts. You'll fit a golf bag horizontally with no issues. Little net. You can throw some grocery bags in there. Not have to worry about them flying around. We get an additional 12 volt back here 
to. You can shut this thing up simply by pressing this button. Take a step back. It closes really quick, so make sure you get out of the way or else you're going to get doofed in the head. But we'll take one last walk around of this 2023 Outback Onyx Edition. This green metallic paint is really nice. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. I think it's my personal favorite color for the 2023 Outbacks, but that's about it. Let's take it out for a drive. All right, guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2023 facelifted Subaru Outback Onyx Edition. If I called it the Onyx XP at some point in this review, I apologize. I'm sure I did at some point, but no, the Onyx XP is the more beefier off-road ready version of the Onyx Edition. It has the 2.4 liter turbo, and just a nicer overall interior. But taking a step out here, the throttle response is good. Not bad, pretty quiet, at least at low speeds. Taking a step out here. Yeah, the response is good. It does shoot us to about like 2,800 RPM pretty easily, but not the biggest deal. We'll take a step out of those multiple, multiple lane highway. All right, guys, taking a step out here. We're leaning into about halfway. Okay. Not bad at all. Very good, like, pull down low. Yes, obviously up top. It's not where this motor shines, but for daily driving, especially with this all-wheel drive system and this torrential downpour, not bad at all. We can try out these manual shifts. Okay, on the gas. Eh. No, definitely missing the turbo for, like, that really high-end power. But for weather like this, more than enough power. The ride quality is great with these 60 profile tires. And we're on some concrete pavement. The road noise still feels or sounds very limited. Obviously, there's a little bit of noise coming to the cabin because of the rain hitting the windshield. But as far as road noise, don't really hear a whole lot. Oh, by the way, guys, we do get blind spot monitoring. It's just on the inside part of the mirror, but we can try merging onto this highway on the gas. It gets the speed pretty quickly. Obviously, there's just nowhere to go onto this highway. And through the turn, the steering feels very on center. As soon as you start to turn the wheel, the vehicle changes direction instantly. All right, taking a step out here. Woo! Yeah! So yeah, it's not blowing you away, but for daily driving, I mean, eight, eight and a half seconds, zero to 60, it's not bad. The ride quality is good. Watch this, train tracks. It's like they're not even there. Obviously the 18 inch wheels with the fatter 60 series sidewalls help, but very impressive ride quality. Another thing I noticed is the start stop in this vehicle. I turned it off, but before I turned it off, it's very clunky. So make sure your foot's on the brake tough or hardly because once that engine starts stop, it jolts the car pretty noticeably. So obviously I recommend turning it off in every car, but especially in this one, I recommend turning the start stop off. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the ride quality. Which is Boom, you run over the bumps, it's like they don't even exist. I was not expecting this to ride this softly. We reviewed the Outback Wilderness in this channel last year, and it had a soft ride quality, but it was also more off-road and ruggedly tuned. This isn't the case. This is still street-oriented with the off-road capability. So if you don't plan on taking your car off-road, which I mean most people don't, you just wanna have some off-road capability. If you go on a fishing trip, you're going hunting or whatnot, once a year, twice a year, this is perfect for you. You got all the space in the world. The materials are high quality, soft touch for the dashboard, soft touch all for the front portion with that vinyl, st uh, stitch soft, star tech, star tech. There it is, star tech, I figured it out. The materials are very high quality. One more time, we can step on the gas once we're situated on the gas. Yeah. Not bad, obviously like the engine doesn't like sound the best, wouldn't expect it to with a 2.4 liter four cylinder, but it sounds okay. So overall, would I recommend buying the 2023 Outback? Yes, and with this trim level, the Onyx Edition, this is probably the best overall bang for the buck. Let's be honest guys, there are a lot of vehicles with better off-road capability than this. However, considering the off-road capability and the overall composure and luxury feel yes luxury feel this is a premium feeling interior the ride quality we can slam over these bumps and we barely feel them because of these 18 inch wheels and 60 series sidewall tires this is an impressive vehicle i was not expecting to be this impressed with the onyx edition for a sub thirty-five thousand dollar car it feels very premium from the interior standpoint the ride quality is great isolation from the road is also fantastic obviously if you want the extra power go for the xt you get the turbo 2.4 turbo with 80 more horsepower 100 more pound feet of torque 
you definitely get your money's worth. However, you still get your money's worth here because for a sub $35,000 crossover, hatchback, station wagon, SUV, whatever you like to call it, this is a ton of vehicle for the money. If you're looking for a luxury feeling spacious crossover with all wheel drive that you do plan on taking off road at least like once in a while, once a year, twice a year, whatnot, this is a great way to go. We didn't demonstrate the X mode, but we get the snow, dirt, normal, deep snow and mud here, backup camera with guidance lines and trajectory. But that's about it, guys. Again, I would definitely recommend checking this one out if you're looking for an all-wheel drive, spacious, off-road capable crossover. And huge thanks to Bert Smith Subaru in St. Petersburg, Florida for making this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below. And if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or wagon in the Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And huge thanks to all of you for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you guys, and I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you'd like to see reviewed on this channel. And I'll definitely try getting those videos for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.